Hello YouTube, my name is Flightsome Guy, and today I want to take a moment to share some information that I just learned. Um, recently, I'm not sure what I did, but in my FSX Steam and my FSX box on my gaming rig, all the traffic was gone. I had all the sliders set to 100 with regards to AI traffic and uh, GA traffic, whether it's commercial and uh, you know jets or whatever. Had them all set to 100 and it was just me in the world. Obviously, I did something to screw it up, and I thought it was something that I installed, and it probably was, but working backwards on installing stuff didn't work, and I discovered what the solution was, so I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you. All right, so first thing, if you don't have traffic, and if you're running FSX Steam, the results are the, uh, the solution is very, very simple. All you need to do is go into Steam, go into FSX, right-click, Properties, and then go to local files verify integri integrity of game cache once you click that the steam installer is gonna do its thing steam is gonna check out all the FSX files if anything is screwed up it's just gonna go ahead and push stuff down from the steam server back to your hard drive all your configurations will be okay all your uh, controllers your, uh, your uh, joystick settings will be good all your add-ons will be fine all you need to do is just click yes click enter when it you know comes up with a prompt for installing and you'll be good to go so if you got steam and the traffic is gone fixing it is no problem if you have FSX boxed and you have no traffic there is a reason for that it's a very complicated story all I'll say for now is the uh, there are files in the FSX file systems that does not belong there more specifically AI uh, Plan, flight plan files for FS9 somehow made their way into the FSX file structure. And if FSX finds any FS9 AI plan, uh, flight plans, it zaps all your traffic. Don't ask me what that means or how it works. All I know is that's what it is. So what you got to do is you got to do this. And I'll put the link in the video description in case uh, you can't replicate it. No FSX AI. Okay, um, there is a link, and here's a link right here. I'll go ahead and share it in the video description. Go ahead and bring that up in your browser. And this is AI Flight Planner, and it has a tool in here to detect uh, files that don't belong in the FSX file system. Latest release, click on that. It's going to go ahead and download. Show in folder. Um, I already have it unzipped on this computer. Okay. And it I unzipped it to a folder. Then all you need to do is go into that folder and this is the file that you want to run. Okay? It's not an installer, it's a straight executable. Go ahead and double click it. And it's going to bring up this interface. All right? Now, all you need to do is select bulk traffic find FS, FS9 traffic files alright you select that and then what you want to do is point this to the directory where FSX is installed on this computer I only have Steam so normally you do program files then you go down to Microsoft uh, games then you select FSX once you select that folder you're going to go ahead and hit scan, and it's going to go ahead and scan that folder and find all FS9 AI flight plans. If it finds them, that's what's zapping your traffic. You can either erase them, or you can have them converted to FSX AI uh, flight plans. Go ahead and select uh, convert to FSX, oh. and once that's done, exit out of this, and you should be good to go. Now, when I had issues with my FSX traffic, I tried this and I could not find any corrupt uh, FS9 AI flight plans on my FSX install. I have both FS9 and FSX on my computer. Now, what I had to do, and it took me several days to figure this out, the solution to my problem was very, very simple. Okay? All I had to do was go to my C drive, program files, 86, Steam, 
Steam Apps, Common, FSX. And within FSX, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Scenery, World, and Scenery. Now, in this folder, there's a file called there is a file called traffic aircraft BGL now in my case what happened was that file was corrupted okay this file uh, presents or gives the uh, the simulator engine the AI aircraft for it to display this file was corrupted so what I had to do was I went into my FSX steam grabbed this file copied it over into my FSX FSX boxed same directory and um, instead of replacing what was in FSX boxed I simply backed up the old file and copied this in and that fixed the problem it's as simple as that so um, you know uh, it was just a lucky shot but I was able to fix my FSX no AI traffic issues by simply copying over this file now for those of you who only have FSX boxed and don't have FSX Steam I'm going to go ahead and make this file available uh, for you to download. It's in the description below. Just go ahead and cut and paste that link into your browser and download it. Copy it into your FSX Scenery World Scenery folder. Back up the old Traffic Aircraft BGL file. Copy the new one in and that should fix your problem. Alright, so I hope you found this video helpful. Flight Sim Guy here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.